Tensions were high at a school board meeting tonight as Pine Richland approved a new head football coach there. Our Amy Hudak was there as parents talked about the impact the scandals had on their children. Parents in the entire Pine Richland football team filled this entire half of the auditorium. They were angry and upset about the school board's decision to name a new head coach. Motion to approve Coach Campos as head of the football program. Ms. Williams, can we get another roll call vote on that motion? Yes. I used to be proud to be from Pine Richland. I, I am not anymore. Defeated. That's how the Pine Richland football team, Whippeal and PIAA champs, describes the moment they walked out of Wednesday's school board meeting as their new head coach was voted in. I'm just really sad. Like, they're clearly not doing what's best for us and the kids. We haven't been able to give our say. Um, they have, we haven't been put first. They're not protesting their new coach, Stephen Campos from Seneca Valley. They're angry at their school board for the way it handled the firing of their beloved former coach, Eric Kasparovich. A couple months of just like anger just coming out. The district citing allegations of bullying and hazing before removing Coach K and his entire coaching staff. Their allegations the former coach vehemently denies. He's even suing the district for defamation. You know, losing coach, I know coach personally, he's a really high character, quality man. So we, you know, we all stood up for him. Every day they fail these kids. It, it, this, is, this is just a microcosm of the things they do. The board voted eight to one to approve coach Stephen Campos, who spent the last seven years as the assistant coach at Seneca Valley and formerly coached at several local colleges. Oh, I know he's gonna give it 100% every day for us. He knows the situation we're in. Coach Campo shared a statement that reads, as the head coach, the two most important things I want our players to achieve are accountability and dependability. Everything else will fall into place. Go Rams. And after eight weeks off the field, these players are ready to get back to work. Uh, the whole entire football team, we're, we're ready to just keep moving forward. I think they're just frustrated, but they'll, they'll stick together. They're, that's a good group of boys. They know how to work. The football captains I talked to say they have nothing against Coach Campos. They plan to meet individually with him right away to have a true heart to heart and discuss how to heal and move forward. At Pine Richland High School, Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.